Hi, Lori here from Mountain Mud Pottery. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy press plate. Here are some samples that I have done already. This little plate here was made from this mold right here. This one I, I actually had made. So I have this template to use to cut the slab out and this one to use to do the press part, which I will be showing you shortly. This one here, this is from GR Pottery Forms. So this one was made from that. These two small ones were made again from a GR Forms, which is this little guy right here. So these plates you can use for any variety of things. You can use them for jewelry, you can use them for little sauce plates, sushi plates, and you can do all sizes and shapes. I also have a round one from GR Forms and also a long rectangular one from GR Forms. So what I'm going to show you today is one that I have a form for that was made. This will be a 5 by 11 plate when it's finished. So this I used to cut it out. But if I wanted to first put texture on, like I did with this one, which I just made to show you how to put feet on it. So this one is made with this form here. But I'll show you how to put the texture on first. I would take a little, this is a little roller. So I would just do that first before I, before I cut the size. So I just roll the texture in. And then I am going to use the template to cut the size that I want. Just using my pin tool. One thing to mention too, it's important when you make your slab before you do anything else, I would take a sponge and sponge it all off and then take a rib and run the rib along the whole thing first of all and that actually compresses the clay so it doesn't crack. So now I have here a piece of thick foam and I will place a piece of plastic over the foam and then I'm going to lay my slab that is prepared already onto the foam. And then I put the plastic over it loosely. And before I put the, the form on it to make the, make the plate, I would take a, my finger and just run it along the edge. And with the plastic being there, it makes a nice round edge. A quick and easy way. So now I have this corresponds to my template that I used to cut it out with. So this is what I'm going to use to actually make the press plate. So I center this on the slab so it's even on all sides, as even as possible. And all I'm going to do now is just push it in. And by pushing it in the foam, it just pushes the sides up and forms a lovely little plate. And that's all there is to it. Very quick and very easy. So next I'm gonna show you the one that I, I have already made. I'm going to flip it over and show you how to put feet on it. So these plates can be left without a foot, or if you like, you can put a, attach a foot to them. To make a foot, the easy way that I've been doing it lately is, this is also from GR Forms. It looks like a corn cob holder, but it's pushed out on the sides. And you would have your slab about at least a quarter of an inch thick. And all you do is just run it through like that, and it makes 
just this lovely little foot that you can attach. So this form I've already made, this little guy here, and I'm leaving the form in here just to give it some stability while I'm attaching the feet to it. So attaching feet, I need to score where the foot is going to go. And I'm just using this tool that is actually made for doing that. And then I already have some of these feet prepared. So I'm going to just score the bottom of the foot as well. And then I'll cut it to fit. Then with my brush, and I'm adding some slip to it. Slip is just liquid clay that is from the scraps of my throwing clay. And I'm just adding a bit onto both the foot and where the foot is going to go on the plate. And this just acts like, like glue to attach it better. So then I'm just going to put it on that exactly on the edge and then just cut and then the other side the same thing just kind of push it down and with the pin tool again just cut off the end and then I'm going to add the ones on the end and kind of miter the, the edge there and then with my finger I'm just going to go around and make sure it is attached and smooth it smooth everything out. sides again just to make sure that it is attached properly there that's all I would do for now and once it dries I it's, it's actually still quite wet once it dries a little bit I would take that time to round the edges a bit more and just clean everything up. But that's how you attach a foot onto a little press plate. I hope you have fun with those. They are really easy and they're a lot of fun and many opportunities for different things to do with them. So enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel for more content.